Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. If this is your first time on the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, those like buttons. Let's get this channel moving. Um, we're going to do something new. Well, technically new for me, but not new for everybody else on YouTube. Uh, we're going to do some reaction stuff. We're going to take a look at some UFO slash paranormal TikToks and YouTube shorts and just kind of just pick them apart, see what we like, see what's interesting. Uh, I know this is going to be uh, exciting for me because I get to switch things up and I get to uh, watch some things that I never really get a chance to watch. So let's get into it. So let's go ahead and get our first one. It uh, looks like the user on this is Tim0James4. Uh, feel free if you're on TikTok to give them a follow, check out their videos and content. So let's take a look at this. Now I remember when this came out is I think it was in Nevada possibly, but or Los Angeles, there was a UFO that supposedly crash landed in these people's yard and like they had some footage where they walked out to the yard and seen these beings inside of their uh bulldozer or tractor or whatever it was and they went back out inside. Uh I still don't see it. Like I, I, I wanna see it. I want it to be real, but you know. Alright. We actually, we actually took a look at this one. This one's from UFO Italy. Um, I think this is AI generated. I'll let you guys be. Uh, I'll let you guys discuss that. Now, the reason why I think this is AI generated, if you take a look at the people and the waves around it. Uh, nothing makes sense. It's not, um, it's kind of got this uncanny valley feel to it. Um, we did a reaction to this on our sports, but I figured to share that one again. I thought that was pretty cool if it was real, but we're getting to the point like when AI, whenever you see AI replicated images, like you have no fucking clue if they're real or not. Um, so I, I, I'm assuming now since the technology is out there, you're going to see more and more and more of this. And I kind of feel like it's like a distant information campaign from the actual truth. So, I don't know. By the way, the account on this is artificial underscore intelligence. Uh, be sure to check them out. I don't know what's going on here. Let's let's keep on looking. The only thing I see is like two diamonds, and they keep on popping up. I don't. I don't know what we're looking for here like uh, the video is a little bit long it's about a little over one minute so let's let's kind of see what happens maybe something happens but wait is that it right there is that it? Is that what they're pointing at? I like one of the comments, just like, this is the best video ever about drawing red circles. Um, I'm not really sure. Like, I think it's this person. Yeah, that was that was just a person. That's that's all it looked like to me. That's that's about it. The only artistic value is, again, the circle, so. <laughs> Alright. This is from MindFunk7. Uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Um, it's pretty funny. I like looking at the clouds, too, but, you know, I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's just like just the cloud or maybe AI or something, but um, it's definitely not not UFO. I 
I just like how it fades away when they zoom in and all the people were freaking out. This has to be staged, it really does. Now, if there's, there, if there's going to be some truth here, this is probably the most realistic thing, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it's actually pretty clever, a little goofy. Um, yeah, it's definitely not real. Hey, dude, fuck that. Come here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, this shit's fucking... I don't know what it is, but it looks... It's Elon Musk or something. <laughs> Elon Musk shit. is coming to get you. Oh, shit. What is that? That's maybe fucking UFO. I haven't seen that. Hey, if you guys just want to I was... I like it. It's like, it's the biggest one I've ever seen. Like, it's the biggest. Like, this guy must have seen all kinds of uh, UFOs, to be honest. thinking of, like, a... What is that? Anti-aircraft shit that... Oh, Arab some fucking gate? Shit? Some gunfire? Use some hell of a tracer, bud. Uh, i never seen anything like that. Oh, that's not a fucking... That's not like a rocket. Yeah, oh, shit, it's still fucking going. <laughs> the comments are all like... They're like, oh, it's Elon Musk is coming to get you. I just picture like Elon Musk like flying on over us and be like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Uh, yeah, that'd be hilarious. Dude, dude fucking meteors go down, not up, and and it's still going. Like you, I don't see it though. Trail. I stepped on a rock and I was like, fuck, and then I turned and I was like, oh, it just came. There was nothing there, and then it just started an happening. And now it's gone. Oh, no, it's still there. there. I'm fucking. It's above the boat right now. I don't fuck, dude. Good call. I, I fucking came hauling ass. He didn't. He really didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. The whole East is in the shit over there. But, but what's happening? That was some shit I've never seen before, bud. What's going on? They're fucking. Uh, that was definitely some alien shit. That was like a whole bunch of lights. I don't know what the fuck that was. That's Santa Claus. That was a, that. I wasn't no fucking meteor. Meteors come down yeah, and they're no, blue. Was they don't go up. That was crazy. That was a fucking missile launch. I, I don't even know if that was a missile launch. As I seen missile launches, usually there's a cone behind it. You yeah. know, there's a flame. No, dude, that was. They were all. I just feel bad for the dog. Even these trees. That's a. This is uh, from user GMGAZ83. Um, it's actually pretty funny, to be honest with you. Just the Elon Musk uh, thing used was easily quotable. There it is. There it is. I've seen a lot of these. I've seen a whole lot of these, um, like, pilot view. I, I would like to see more of this. I, I doubt this is real. There's a Visionary Vibes Hub? Visionary Vibes Hub. That's that's the user here. Check them out. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's real or not. Um Again, when we start diving into this stuff, it's basically, it's AI or something crazy. See this? No. Yeah, that one's not going to work. Amigos, me encontré este video en la red que tiene aproximadamente unos tres días de que lo subieron. Es un grupo de personas en alguna parte de la India. Parece, pues sí, parecen este, que son de por allá, por los rangos físicos de las personas que están en el video. Pero lo sorprendente es que estas personas están capturando o quieren capturar a estas dos criaturas que se pueden ver en el video, que aparentemente parecen extraterrestres, parecen seres de otro planeta. Sin embargo, vamos a ver el video. I don't know what they're doing here. Let's just keep watching. 
completo para saber si realmente esto sucede. Uh, there's like two dudes like right there. Uh, it was just like two guys just on their hands and knees. Se dio si realmente esto es verdad. Se está grabando con una cámara con muy muy buena resolución, por lo cual logramos apreciar lo que es el cuerpo de lo que son estos seres. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of creepy to be honest with you. If I was like out in the woods at night and I seen that, I'm hightailing it out of there. Vamos a ver el video completo, amigos. Déjenme en los comentarios qué piensan ustedes. Recuerden que al final de todo, ustedes siempre tienen la razón. Sigue viendo este video. They're, they're not like making noises or anything like that. You you would figure like if they're territorial, they'd be hissing and growling or something. Maybe, maybe it's like tribes people or something like that. Like, they, they made a little bit of a noise, but it wasn't, I mean, it just looks like two dudes, like, in, like, spandex. Uh, that is, comes from Christian Briz 89 Let's check them out. I'm gonna. That might be drones. I, I don't know. That's what they're saying in the comments. It looks like. Uh... We can see him. I don't know if this is glare. I, I hope it's not this shit right here. I don't think that would be good. But maybe these guys here? No, I don't get it. I don't get it. That is Mind Funk 7, by the way. Hey, bro. What the fuck is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear it. What the fuck was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me hear it. There we go. That actually looks legit, man. That looks legit. That looks like that's something. I, I, it'd be kind of cool, like, going on the highway and seeing something like that. And it looks like looks like in the comments there's like more people that seen this uh, in their area. By the way, this is Cal No Cap Two. Uh, be sure to check them out. That one's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty good. I don't I don't I don't know if that's fake or not, but it does look like there's a lot of people. Um, Looks like in Georgia, that seen the same thing. Uh, some other people seen it in West Virginia, which is in my neck of the woods. Things humans weren't meant to see. That's fucking creepy. UFO caught at gas station. There it is. Okay, that's... That's cool and all, but that's definitely not real. That definitely... I, you would see... I would think there'd be more people noticing a big red ship. Like, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I could be wrong, though. We have the picture of the chandelier UFO, as it's being called, but where's the video? I will say this, is that there is more footage. So some people got to see portions of it within the intelligence community. There is a bigger story to tell. The object did go into the water for 17 minutes, and then it did come out and shoot off at an extraordinary speed. Wait, are you talking about the jellyfish UFO or the chandelier UFO? So let's separate the two for your audience. So what we are calling the jellyfish UFO is a strange morphology. I mean, it looks like a jellyfish, and because it went in the water, we dubbed it that. Some people called it the spaghetti monster, and that's awesome. But the other one... Yeah, actually, like, I don't know if you guys seen the, uh, it's like a drone footage of 
this weird looking alien thing like in a, some kind of military base and it looks like um one of those sentinels from uh the matrix I had all these like dangling tentacles and hanging out and was just flying around this is the guy uh jeremy corbell he actually brings out a lot of stuff um about ufos he's like one of these um he's been on rogan he's been on national news he actually has a documentary on uh netflix about bob lazar um he's he's a pretty big name in ufology uh some people don't like him because he could be uh full of himself i like his stuff but you know let's continue to see what he says on the, the chandelier, it's because if you look at it from the bottom, it looks like the chandelier. They're two separate events, military filmed footage of designated UAP by our intelligence agencies. So I'm talking about the jellyfish UFO is the one that actually showed transmedium capability. It did go into the water for 17 minutes, did come up and shoot off at an extraordinary speed. We have. So, yeah, like I, I do want to see that video. I do like to see the part because they, they release a part of it. And there's another part where the thing goes into water for 17 minutes and bursts out like in a flash. Uh, by the way, that's News Nation now. Let's keep on going. As the plane soared above an unfamiliar region in China, a passenger gazed out of the window, capturing a captivating video. A sense of awe and curiosity filled the air as the passenger's camera focused on a peculiar sight, a disc-shaped object about the size of a small car, effortlessly gliding in parallel to the airplane, near one of its wings. The crispness of the video allowed the viewer to perceive the details of the disc distinctly. As seconds passed, an intriguing occurrence took place. The mysterious object seemed to activate a device of some sort, creating a mesmerizing effect. Space and time itself appeared to fold around the disc, as if the laws of physics were being bent to its will. The passenger's video captured the surreal moment in all its glory, a testament to an encounter that defied conventional understanding. As the object sped away from the aircraft, its velocity accelerated to a staggering 24,000 miles per hour, leaving an indelible impression on the mind of the witness. Now that's pretty cool. Like, uh, I'm not going to lie, that's pretty cool. The footage does look kind of genuine, but then again, you never know, it could be CGI. My thing is, like, what the hell was it shooting? It looked like it shot a missile out at the plane. Um, I've seen some of the uh, actual comments in uh, this video. They're like, oh, hurry up. It's a UFO. Let's shoot in 144p. Uh, yeah, basically, every single UFO thing, it comes out like they have shitty, like, resolution. There's artifacts everywhere. It's blurry. We can't tell what they are. And we have these phones that can shoot, like, my wife's phone, she's got the Galaxy S23 or whatever it is, the Ultra. And, like, she could take a perfect picture of the moon, like, zoomed in and see all the features. But if we can't get a picture of the UFO, like, if you see it, bro, just, just do it. These 16 members of Congress just met with them. I'm not really sure what that is. It's definitely not a UFO. That's, that's for sure. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching our very first uh, reaction video uh, for the UFO stuff. I'm hoping that the more we do these, the better we get with them. Uh, if you enjoyed this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to take a look at the shorts, the daily bits. We will have the uh, losing bits as well as some game reviews and stuff like that coming on. I definitely want to see the channel growing. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Oh, they love her so. 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 Oh, they love her so.